that racket that Amy's just been told out to, to, to out, out there to tell them to tone it down. How pleasing is that? Because that's a dressing room that's in a good place. Well, it is. You know, I said this. You know, I don't want to drum on about it, but I think we've got a really good group here. I do. I really like the the squad. I said from day one that a big part of the recruitment drive would be to try and bring together, you know, a group of players with good character. And I think, you know, on the whole, we've 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 got that. You know, you always get the difficult characters. That's normal, but. Uh, I think on the whole we've got a good group together. And it shows that they've gelled quickly, which is one of the things you said had to happen. Yeah, it's actually one of the things that that's probably easier to do here than at other clubs because, you know, in general, players have to spend time here. They have to stay overnight here. They, a lot of them are in together in the, the, the digs that we have. In fact, both houses are are full now so there's a lot of camaraderie in there you know there's cooking groups in there there's all sorts in there so it's brought them together and that's one of the pluses although at times I've said this the geography of the club is difficult at times to convince players to come here when eventually you get them here because of the circumstances it's sometimes easier to get them to jail quicker Four down days, including Sunday, you can tell from the way they've come back how much it meant to them. Was that planned? Is that something that you had to, to help them mentally? Yeah, it's part of the, 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 the planning. We had it planned from day one that we are trying to work in the six-week cycles. Really intense work for six weeks and then three or four days downtime. And I think that it's not just the physical aspects that we... We want to give them the downtime from it's the, the the psychological, and also you know when you you're certain types of coaches and you're driving it in a certain way they don't want to hear your voice, you know every day a little break from that a little break from thinking about the tactics every day just the break of routine is a good thing I think and then they come back recharged and ready to go again so it's how we we'll work. You know, and that's regardless of Saturday's result. It's not going to be dependent on Saturday's result. Saturday's result doesn't go right, ah, we have to change. No, that's how we're going to work. We think that this will work and this is how we want to go about it. Swindon's first home league game on Saturday, how much does that factor? Because they'll have that nervous energy that goes with it. Yeah, but they'll also have a lot of confidence. And um, I could see... And some of their attacking players on, on Tuesday night when I attended the game that they're playing with a lot of confidence just now. So it's a good test for us, but one that I'll be honest with you, I'm really looking forward to because I think it's a great game for us and it will give us a, a huge sort of indication of, of where, uh, where we are and, and certain parts that we'll need to improve on. And as you keep saying, it's about what we do. Very much that. And I reminded the, the group of that this morning. We had an in-depth uh, analysis meeting and just showing a couple of things on, on Swindon. But again, I reminded the group that it's about us. It's about what we do. And we've, we've been working on that again this morning. 